Hey Marvel Legends fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. We've got Mr. Knight, this is the last one I need to complete the wave of the Disney Plus um, Infinity Ultron Builder figure. Anyone I haven't reviewed is Sharon Carter. Um, not the most exciting figure, I will get around to it. Um, but yeah, I have reviewed Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, and then I did Kate Bishop and Hawkeye in a video together, so... Yeah, finally got the last piece to finish Infinity Ultron. And I will do a video in the next, you know, within the next week. I'll do Sharon Carter and I'll review the Infinity Ultron uh, bath as well. So let's crack into Mr. Knight and take a look. All right, so there's a lot of white on white here. So this may be a interesting one, but I think I think the lighting's all right here. I think what we've got is okay. Um, now, for some reason, this seems to be the, the most difficult to find of the wave. Um, that was just my experience uh, trying to track him down. Um, seems to be the one, him and Moon Knight, She-Hulk, they seem to be the ones that are going really quickly. Um, Sharon Carter isn't moving too quick. Miss Marvel, I've seen a move, but there's still a few hanging around. Um, but yeah, for some reason, this one is the one of the most highly sought-after ones of the wave, so... You know, just in my experience. Um, I think it's a good figure. I think there's one area that lets the figure down. It is the arms. Um, they're, they're, they're old arms. They just, I don't know, they, they look a little bit too... You know, he's the figure itself, like, he's got new legs, you know, pinless. New shoes. He's got those sort of wrapped up mummy shoes. Um, the torso seems to be good, you know, the... The sort of outer coat, outer jacket of the uh, of the jacket looks good, and he's got these sort of little sort of skinny arms that sort of I don't know, it just doesn't quite fit for me. Um, you know, maybe once he's sort of posed up in a bit more of a an action stance, maybe he will appear a little bit better. But I do like what they've done. Um, considering there's a lot of white on white. Sort of going with a, I don't know. It could just be my lighting, but it feels to be like a little bit of a, a little bit of a wash over the figure. That could just be my lighting. So I will have to take this guy out and have a look outside just to get some, you know, good natural light. <laughs> but you know, the sculpt of the the jacket looks good. I like the head sculpt. It's nice. The sort of blue glow of the eyes there. And the stitch marks. Looks good. I, I dig it. Um, obviously, he's got his fist hands. We're going to swap out. I'll do that off camera. Just so I don't knock anything over. And I'll put the other hands in. But yeah, I'm, uh, you know, like I said, the one thing I'm bummed out about is the, the sort of jacket sleeves. They just, you know, not only do they have the pins, so it's sort of, you know, at this point, slightly dated. I understand the need to reuse and... And do all that, but uh, you know, it would have been a perfect opportunity to get a sort of a new sort of suited figure out, um, or or just choose better arms. I think, you know, they're just not quite there for me. But that's okay. That's fine. I'm not 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 slagging on the figure. I don't mind the figure at all. It does come with these little uh, batons, which are really nicely detailed. So he will hold them well. So that's cool. So we'll maybe get him in a bit of a pose and sort of see how he looks. See, when he's all posed up, it doesn't look too bad. I think the shoulders, you know, the, the way the jacket sort of pushes up because of the legs. Um, yeah, it's not too bad could be a whole lot worse so let me just say that so I'm, I'm, a, I'm glad I have this guy he looks good I'm a big fan of the Moon Knight series I thought it was really cool looking forward to more uh, especially with the revelation of uh, Jack Lockley at the end there really really cool so yeah I'm digging them I'm digging the mold I think it looks good yeah just those arms that's a small little letdown but um I'll, I'll, I'll wear it I'll appreciate it might try and find a figure with some better better white arms. <laughs> I don't know, don't know where I'll find one, but 
We'll see if I can uh, kit bash him up a little bit. Not bash him up, kit bash him up. <laughs> But yeah, he'll, he'll stand nicely alongside Moon Knight, who is actually in reach. So you can just sort of see how white that suit is compared to compared to Moon Knight there. But yeah, two cool figures back to back. Both completely different personalities, which I love. So that's, they're a cool combo. They're a really cool combo together. I like that a lot. A couple of awesome awesome figures so I'd love to hear your thoughts please let me know what you think send out the comments below I have some more videos coming up very very soon oh, also before I mention here is Infinity Ultron's arm the final arm so yeah I'll do a review on him very very soon thank you for watching do appreciate it I'll see you on the next one